You're watching Extra Throttle House. I'm Thomas. And I'm James. And this is the Extra Channel, which is not the main channel, which is just called Just Throttle House. But it's not called Just Throttle House. It's just called, it's called Just Throttle it is a more casual, relaxed I channel where that. we get to have a conversation. Yeah. So, disclaimer. More of a conversation <laughs> than, are we still? We're, oh, we're we've done. moved on. We moved on. Why are we reviewing this again? So we're not reviewing it again. We're having a discussion and we're reviewing it again. Do you see what I mean? So this has yes. already featured, if you follow the main channel, this is already featured in a yes. comparison, a three-way, the best kind of way, with the Civic Type R LE and the M2 CS. Yep. when we weren't allowed to track it. And nothing has changed. Our track is track. literally right there, and here the car sits. But Thomas said he would still rather get a GT and I, yes, save I, the money, and I want, to I, stand by that. I want to explore that theme. Okay. So the first reason why Thomas might have said that is because this beautiful Mark I will cost you in Canada, as spec, $76,000. Do you know how much money $76,000? I know how much it is. It's exactly yeah. $76,000, so <laughs> which is too much money for this car. It is a big number for a Mustang. Yes. However... Well, no, that's not true because the GT350 is worth it. The GT500 is worth it. They're all more. Way more. Yeah, but the, they're oh, worth I see the what money. You mean. They're well, worth the well, extra money. This is, like the Mark 1s of old, supposed to bridge the gap between Shelby and the normal Mustangs. Which it kind of does. Which it does, and it does in price. Yes. So... Shut up. Well, we, the thing is, when you drive it on the road, which you're going to find out, because I drove it in the video, yeah. you're going to find out that it drives like a normal Mustang so I GT, think, which is a I think car, we're not going to go through I all the we're not going to go through all the features and all the aero and everything. Yes. But it has a bunch of aero. Uh, has 150. This has the handling package, so it's 150 percent yes. more downforce than if it didn't have the handling package. Right. Thanks to all the crazy aero. Yeah. That's the number that really matters. Yeah. And it has styling. That is, I think, very sweet. It's uh, fantastic. The styling is is a is a high point of this you know, car. I think. Do you know why we this like is cool. it? cool. Why? Because the wheels, especially with yep. the handling package, look like M competition wheels from far away. They look a they bit German. Do. Yeah. Right. So maybe and it comes with Cup Two tires. And it comes with Cup Two tires. Yes. That's the handling package. Otherwise, it comes with PS Fours. It's also like, it, you know, I'm, I'm making fun of the car because that's my job. But at the same time, this genuinely has some real track specific stuff. Like it has a differential cooler. It's got. It has a special. Um, what is it? It's got a special uh, belly pan underneath. It's good. That is... Look, James? Go, what are you doing? Oh, I'm looking for the belly pan. Oh, you're looking for the belly it pan? Goes it goes something like 20% more rearward. It has some special function where not only is it does belly pan things, it actually creates more downforce yeah. underneath. Right. They're very proud of that. It, 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 it also has a Tremec transmission, which we'll talk about in a second. Yes. But like the, the really important thing here is that this is not just a body kit and some paint on a Mustang no. for more money. They actually give you more stuff. It is a very track focused bullet. It is a very track focused bullet, yeah. And, and the thing is, is that this would probably start to make more sense to me if you were doing track days with it. Yes. Like if you buy this to do track days, absolutely, because it gives you what a Mustang GT is, which is a fine track car. The PP2 we is. We know how that PP2 is fantastic. Fine. It yeah. is, it's a really good car, but I mean, this has a few things over that that are going to give you some longevity, some durability, and maybe a little bit more precision it's on the track. It's got more cooling. I would love to drive it on the track. Um, but at the, yeah, but at the same time, I still think a GT350, a used one. Let's drive it. Stop can complaining. We, okay, fine. Yeah. You're driving? Yeah. Okay. I think a GT350 would be a bad. All right. There is that coyote. I have so much love for the coyote. It's and an unbelievable I engine. Like, don't get me wrong. The Voodoo in the GT350R made our jaws drop. Literally, this kind of makes yeah. you just go, and then breathe, and they, breathe and in And they again. come back, yeah, but yeah. No, it's a, it is a fantastic engine. I think that it's it's exactly what it should be. It revs just high enough that it feels special. It's yeah. still got like that American displacement punch, and it's got just really lovely tones to Wonderful the Wonderful tone. It, it, right? like I said, it feels like you're living inside of a cat purring. So it, <laughs> so it is deeper. Yes, yes. No, um, I really do like it. Um, and I like what we're doing right now with this, which is cruising. Cruising. Yeah, yeah. It's it is absolutely brilliant at this. You drove this here today, and you were happy. Wonderful. Jennifer, it's wonderful. Right? So it's 480 horsepower. Because it got the same engine as the Bullet. Yeah. Yeah. 420. Well, the same engine as all of them. It's just uprated. I think maybe yes, it's an airflow yes. thing. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, I, how comfortable are you? Like the seats are comfortable. The, the difference between this and the Camaro. It's just still so mind-boggling. Because well, you can see. You can see, and I'm comfortable, and I don't feel like I'm in a little coffin. But it also has the Mustang differences. Where well, it's, well, yeah, but it's got the, the, the Magna Ride as well. It has the newest version of Magna yes, Ride. Yes, it's been tuned differently. Yeah, I, I really get, I think Magna Ride's fantastic at the moment. 
Yes, it is. So, okay, so just to recap really quickly, we've got lovely visibility, amazing engine, amazing ride, uh, re you know, really good, like, poise and comfort on the road. All of these things are available in a regular Mustang Except, GT, James. See that? What did you do? I didn't. Because it has rev matching now. Oh. So you get to sound Yay. like an absolute legend. Okay. And it's not hard. You can get in this and just drive it like a legend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I would not option the 10-speed. I think you said this in the, in the main video. No, because the Tremec. The Tremec. This, so this, this gives you this... First of all, the cue ball shifter is, amazing. is the coolest thing ever. Yep. Uh, if you pop that, then the other person gets two goes. What's your rules, actually, first? Well, if you... If someone scratches. If you scratch and pull. Yeah. Actually, I think they, you just get... They, they get the... I've always given them two goes. I don't remember. Anyway, it's a grey shifter. Yeah. Um, Super purposeful, yes. as good as Miata's, Vipers. Now we can add Vipers to the we pile. Could have, we could say that. that no, was awesome. this, is, this is a fantastic shifter, both mechanically, in speed, um, and in durability as well, right? Uh, you, you might have seen me in the... In the you having fun? Yeah, yeah, it's great. Uh, you might have seen me in the video flat foot shift this thing because you can't. You just slam through the gears, right? We're not you're gonna do it. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's pretty. It's still pretty hard on it, right? It like, revs. You know, oh, it revs man. out for ages. It does. The sound is fantastic. The sound just wins. Right? And, and so, and so here's the thing. Can we agree that yes. we've driven every version of every Mustang, yes. including the EcoBoosts and all that, yeah. manual, a ten-speed, whatever you Pretty name much, it. Yeah, Pretty much, yeah, every single Mustang. This is it. This is of the of the S550. This is the final one we haven't driven. That's right. And this doesn't feel on the road right now, revving around any different to a Bullet or even a GT BB2. Correct. It feels exactly the same. Yeah, the, I mean, the interior, I mean, you get the special Mark you 1 plate. Batch. You've yes. got the orange stitching here that, yep. that matches the uh, the orange on the outside, with the orange brake calipers, yes, by the way. Which cool. looks, and it's got, what is it, fighter jet uh, grey? Yes, the paint again, though, but what you're getting to is you're getting to aesthetic things. But that is, that's kind of cool. It is kind of cool. I'm not saying it isn't. If I'm spending 76 grand on a car, it needs to pass the test of, as I walk away, do I need to turn back and look at and it? I agree, this is a car to look at. It's just so nice. The interior, the interior is, is a bit of a letdown though. Like, it's a, it's the normal Mustang interior. Yeah, there's nothing much else. But you're paying it. 76 grand for it. Like this is just not acceptable. No, that, that's no different than any Mustang, yeah. right? Yeah, it's got the cooled seats which are on right now. They're lovely. Um, no, it, 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 it is fun. Like, just listening to it, it happen. It's a wonderful it, it's engine. Just a really good. I know engine. that the Voodoo's got more like. Yes, yes. Going on, it's more manic, but this is so much soul. You feel like you're listening yep. to a soul playlist, and oh, that's a terrible, terrible turning circle. <laughs> As we just discovered. And the Cup 2s. Oh. oh, man. It's just such a... It, it, the very few cars that have manuals have such a synchronicity between the engine, the, the clutch, and the transmission. It makes like me this smile, does. this car. It's just such a fun car to drive. If, if I was a Mustang person, if I were like diehard Mustang, yes. I, I would I would find a way to shut out the money, I think. Really? It, it is that well, for, for the Mark 1, though? Would you the, honestly? Well, listen, here's what we spoke about. Because we were talking about M2 versus M2 CS. Yes. And, the M2, and it's quite a price hike, but yeah. you get Cup 2s, you get special wheels, you get special suspension stuff, yes. you get special aero, you get a special look. Like, this does all the things that the M2CS does for the M2. Yes, the difference is, though, is that you, when you drive an M2 competition and an M2CS, you can immediately tell the difference between them. And okay. since we haven't tracked this, yeah. we, you, you can not know that this right. is not a GTP. Well, we wanted to track it, and we did reach out to a few owners. Yes. But a lot of those owners bought their car literally for this for show and, of show and shine yeah. yeah which is fine like and, and that's cool that's what we'll buy like it's a, it's a, it's a mach one it's a legendary nameplate in the ford <laughs> it's and, a great and, transmission world oh. it is it's so good um and and i think that that's totally i'm not sorry you were saying well i don't even know what that was, saying and that. that's totally and that's totally fine I, like, I, there's nothing wrong with buying a car as a collectible or for show and shine whatsoever um, and so if, if that is your purpose, then absolutely. Yeah. I, I say like, sure, buy a Mach 1, right? If that's enough for you, absolutely it's a fine buy. But as of yet, I, I don't know if it's faster. We know the PP2 is really quick around our track, right? Yeah. If you happen to have one of these, then let us know. Because I think it'd be interesting to see what the ultimate five liter Mustang can do around the track. I, yeah. mean, I think it's probably going to be quite a similar time to the PP2 because there's not that many differences. It's more durability, but more power, to be fair. I'd love to see what it can do. Yeah, I, listen, I, I was hard on this car. I am hard on this car. You are hard for this car? Yeah. Because I am. 
I, ha I love this car. Do you love it? I love the car. I love the Mustang GT. Well, I love me, the Mustang GT too. You can't get one okay. for 40 grand new. That's kind of. That's the, the thing. This is the best engine for the money you can get on the market end. Under, uh, under, yes. Under for 50 money, grand. It is the best. There's nothing engine. as good as no this. No question. Yeah. But if you do decide to come to the track and help yep. us out with your car, yeah. Just make sure you bring some toilet paper because I remember last time we were there, you had to go. Oh, in the